what you will need to roll your own 116 or 616 film. Bulk 65mm film, vintage 116 film spool and backing paper, or 616 vintage spool and backing paper, and a clean, flat, dark, no light area to work. This is a DIY project. You have to go to eBay or a yard sale or somewhere and find a roll of old 116 or 616 film that you need for your camera. What I do is I take the film, many times the film is so old that I, I sacrifice it. I'm going to take the old film out and re-roll it with new film. First of all, you will need a long space. I guess you could also do this in a film changing bag if, you're, if you have talented hands. But I like to do it on a long table in a completely black room. The room has to be completely black or else you will be, be a failure. It's the beginning part of the film. And I always find two heavy objects put it down now like that so that it doesn't roll right away. So I put one there and I roll out. Ah, there it is. Check it out. There's the film. If you ever wondered what rolled film looks like, the beginning part is always taped. And as you roll, and as you roll, and as you roll, and as you roll, put another heavy, heavy piece there right now. You're going to discard this old film. You're going to take your new film and now you have your your sheet of backing paper. Take your new film, which by the way is not going to be as curly as this. I mean, this is crazy, right? So you take your new film, you find the space where it was taped, and you can tell by looking at where the numbers begin. See? Oh, there's number one. So you know you, you, you need your film to begin before number one, so right about there. Once again, this is my method. You may come up with your own method, and your method may be better than mine. I'm just showing you what I do. So I put that there, put the weight there, so it doesn't like go away. Roll your film out, get to the end. You start rolling your film, keeping it kind of tight with your thumb so it doesn't get away from you. You start rolling your film, yep. Careful you don't crimp the backing paper. As you can see, it's rolling up pretty nicely. Oh. That's it. Questions, you could contact me, uh, Michael at filmphotographyproject.com. You could find a new film for 116, 616. This film is 70 millimeters in width. This film is 65 millimeters in width. It's not a perfect fit, but it's the best we have right now. So let's go, let's do it. Find some old film so you have the supplies. And then when you send your film to the lab, always request to get your backing paper and spool back because you're gonna wanna roll another roll. Mm -hmm.